What's up everybody, Matthew Monis here. Right now I'm on my way downtown to go hands-on with Microsoft's brand new Xbox One X. It's their 4K console. They invited me to their gaming lab where I can experience gameplay hands-on and test out my biometrics to see how it responds to the gameplay. Is my heart rate gonna go crazy high? Am I gonna get stressed out? But first, I'm starting a new series in my vlogs and it's called The Random Review. This is where I grab a piece of tech from the studio, anything that I just grabbed that I haven't reviewed yet and I review it on my way to an event. Today we're reviewing some truly wireless earbuds. These are the Novas by a company called TRND Labs. Now they retail for about 80 bucks US. They come in this nice little case that spins around and the case itself has a 2700 milliamp battery in it. So not only does it charge your earbuds, they actually have a USB input so you can charge your smartphone or a tablet if you connect a cable to it. The sound quality is okay. It's like a $30 pair of headphones. They're not that great. For 80 bucks though, they're great for like bringing around with you on the subway. They're the type of truly wireless earbuds that you just don't care about. So if you lose it one day, you're not gonna be too upset. Okay, I totally gave the Uber driver the wrong address. We're all the way down at 580, so I'm just rushing over right now. My demo is at 11 a.m. I should make it on time. Check this out, we got massage chairs over there, an oxygen bar right over there, food, we got Xbox merch across the room, little wait session in case you wanna get your buys pumped up before you start Xboxing. And over here we have cocktails at 11 a.m. Now I just got a massage and Microsoft understands that playing video games is pretty, uh, it's like an extreme sport. You get very tired very easy, those fingers go all day. In fact, these calluses on this hand right here, that's like 600 hours of solitary. All right, so tell me one more time exactly what this stuff does. Okay, so this is gonna be tracking sort of like your, your respiratory, right? right. Your, your beats per minute, your breaths uh, per minute, also your blood pressure, and um, so basically your vital signs. Okay, so you ready to go? Let's do it. Okay. Thoughts? It on is Xbox One X. Go. It is in, it's in high resolution, and it might be better than the PlayStation <gasps> 4 Pro. Did Maybe. you hear that? I gotta try it first. Those are big words. <laughs> Those are big words. Back at the studio, I got the box in front of me. Inside of here is some 4K HDR Xbox goodness. Let's unopen this bad boy and see exactly what we get inside the box. Woo! Oh yeah. The knife. Chop, chop. Ooh. Now that's what I'm talking about. We got Planet Earth 2, which by the way, I haven't seen yet, so I'm definitely gonna be watching that. Planet Earth number one was amazing. Next up is a Seagate game drive. This is specifically for the Xbox One or Xbox 360. We've got two terabytes. Definitely gonna need that if you're downloading the games and keeping them on the console. So next up, we got this book. Pretty thick, that's what she said. And inside of here we have all the pictures of the Xbox One X. Kind of like marketing materials, but really nice marketing materials. It tells you about the enhanced games, talks about the craftsmanship, the compatibility, if it looks good on 1080p screens. You know, most things you just throw away. This one I actually might read. Xbox Live Gold Card. Gonna have to check that out afterwards. And we have a bunch of other paperwork. We got instructions, perhaps some games maybe? Yep, we got some game codes in here. But all this aside, the moment of truth, the Xbox One X. Let's get this out of the package first. Okay, I'm gonna be a little savage with this because it's a little awkward to get out. Son of a... All right, there we go. Woo, kind of hefty. Woo wee! There it is in all of its glory. One terabyte, 4K Blu-ray, 4K Ultra HD, and HDR. So if your TV supports HDR, the Xbox is gonna be able to take advantage of that. And if the game supports it, you're gonna get much better dynamic range. Now, getting inside of the box, we just got two more little 
pieces of tape to go through. Got my trusty, oh my God, I almost cut my finger off. So I think this is maybe the reviewer's edition. I don't know if this is a retail unit. So we got the Xbox One X right here. But first, let's go with the small box, save the best for last. And inside of here, we got the power cord. We have HDMI. Ooh, ooh, hello. The controller. Hello, my friend. What are you gonna be looking like today? Wow, there it is the Xbox One X controller. Now from what I understand is the retail version is gonna have blacked out keys. So you're not gonna see like the colored A, the colored B and all that stuff. So this is, I think, I'm not sure if this is a pre-production unit or if it's a reviewer's unit, but I think the controller might be a little bit different. I think there's gonna be like a Scorpio writing down the middle as well. And last up, the main event, the Xbox One X. Wow, this is really, really thin. I mean, for a gaming console, I mean, you have to understand the last gaming console that I actually used was the Xbox 360. So I skipped the PS4, I skipped the original Xbox One, so this is a big jump for me. Can this be the thing that takes me away from PC gaming? We're gonna have to find out in a future review. Woo! Beautiful. All blacked out. I love that. Looks nice and clean. So on the front, we have one USB port, we have a Wi-Fi connection, looks like to be infrared over here. This is the power button, the Xbox icon. I'm gonna remove this. And on the back, we have the power connector. We have HDMI out, HDMI in, your two more USB ports, an IR out, your SPDIF port, and your ethernet jack. So that pretty much lines it up. It's about the same size as the Xbox One S from what I understand. Definitely a lot smaller than the original Xbox One. I wish I had some to compare it to, but I don't. So you just have to take my word for it. Either way, I can't show you gaming from it yet. That will be coming soon after I test this bad boy for a little while. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the new Xbox One X and its 4K capabilities. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, feel free to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next video.